Welcome one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be beginning a let's play of Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is quite possibly one of the most requested, if not the most requested, series that has been asked for on my entire channel, so it's going to be handled a little bit differently than a normal playthrough. First of all, I'm going to be doing only one video a night of this, on the nights that I record, as opposed to the normal two. The reason for this is that it gives people the ability to comment on things that I might have missed, or things they'd like me to explore in greater detail before I've moved too far along in the storyline to actually go back and redo them, or to do them again, I guess. And so, by doing that, I'm hoping that everyone gets a chance to voice their opinions, and uh, we will go through this game together. It has been a long time since I played this one. Probably a little over a decade or so. So, I hope I can remember most of it. It's going to be a pretty amazing campaign. It is really, really fun. I have a pre-made character already, so we're going to start the campaign. And I'm going to show you the character we're going to be going through with. So we're going to select our character. We're going to choose Eltamar Dreadwind, which sounds like an evil thing, but it's not. So we are a Yonti Pureblood male, lawful good, 85-85. We are a level 8 monk, a level 8 fighter at this point in time. We're devout. We worship Ilmater. And we have 22 Dexterity, 8 Strength, 14 Constitution, 16 Intelligence, 14 Wisdom, and 14 Charisma. We are going to be a dual wield comma monk. We don't have any commas to start with, so it's going to be a little rocky at the beginning, but we will quickly become a killing machine of unprecedented ability. And Pain. let's begin. It surges through bone and blood. It tears at your heart in the place where the shard once was. You struggle to raise your head. A hole has been carved into your flesh just above your heart and raggedly stitched by an unskilled hand. I'm going to try and stand. The pain surges again, so intense that it is like a palpable force pressing at your wounds, holding you fast to the rune-scarred stone. Something stirs inside you, a presence, a hunger. It is bound, angry, and it cannot escape. I'm here. Lie still. Who are you? My name is Sophia. The binding spell is wearing off. Your arms and legs will be stiff, but you'll be able to walk. I know you have questions, but we must leave. Now. Before the spirits wake. Spirits? What kind of a place is this? We're in a barrow deep beneath the soil of Rashomon. The locals say that powerful spirits dwell here, hostile to those trying to enter, and those trying to leave. Rashomon? That's hundreds of miles from the Sword Coast. I don't know how you got here, but I'll take you to someone who might. I'll take you to her and make certain that she gives us both some answers. But that's after we get out. For the moment, haste is all that matters. Who did this to me? Who took the shard? I don't understand. If someone trapped you here, cut you open, then surely you would know. But you don't know, do you? I can understand your confusion. It must be very disorienting. Your robes and the tattoos on your head, what do they mean? These are the trappings of a red wizard from Thay. My order is well known in the wider world. One but could I'm no say threat. that. Not to you, at least. Disregard whatever rumors you have heard regarding the Red Wizards. I am here to assist you, and I will do just that. Red Wizards are known as being particularly devious and generally evil. Have you seen these runes before? What do they mean? Yes, they caught my eye as well. There's almost nothing about Rashemi runes in the Academy Archive, but that rune there? It's called the Dancing Man. It depicts a circle of dancers surrounding an evil spirit. The runes were part of the binding spell that held you, but I've dissolved its power. Come, we've been here too long as it is. Alright, let's go. So Sophia is a red wizard specializing in transmutation spells. We can change her spells. 
which is good to do. Yes. So let's take a quick look at what she's got for level 9 spells. Currently she has Etherealness and Meteor Swarm. Really we're just going to go with straight up Meteor Swarm. Um, for her... I'm just going to rotate my microphone. There we go. For her level 8 spells... We could go with an Empowered Disintegrate. Always good. Sunburst is fun. Which one's Premonition? That's damage reduction, right? It's pretty good as well. Polar Ray is also quite decent. It's a touch attack for 25d6 damage. Well, up to 25d6 damage. And protection from spells. We're not going to use that one very much. We're going to grab another Polar Ray. And Sunburst is good against Undead, correct? Yes. We won't be running into any Undead immediately, I don't think. If I can remember correctly. Um, that's pretty decent. It's fine the way it is. Level 6, we have Greater Stone Skin, which is awesome. Disintegrate. What's Stone Body do? More damage reduction. Okay, we don't need a million damage reduction things. We'll take one stone to flesh just in case, and we'll grab some more Disintegrates. Uh, for level 5, we're going to go with... One Mind Fog should be good, I guess. Is that Touch of Death? Nope, it's Dismissal. Dismissal is amazing for the area we're in, actually, so... Grab another Dismissal as well. For this level, we're just going to get Lesser Missile Swarms. Um, we don't need Invisibility very much, just Missile Swarms. Haste is good. We don't need two Greater Magical Weapons, we'll grab another Haste. Level 2 doesn't really matter too much. Good enough, I guess. Um, Burning Hands is okay, and Large Person is not great. Experience Retreat, we're not going to use. Low Light Vision, no. And we're just going to jump magic missiles into the rest of those spots. Okay. This is a safe place to rest. Let's rest for 8 hours really quickly. There will be points in the game where resting is not going to work too well for us, so we might as well do it while we can. We are also weakened. Mistress, I hear something moving in one of the caves up ahead. Perhaps it's best if Ipsit and Sefi... No, Kaji. I sent them to find Liena. As my mother asked, they could not have returned from the city so soon. Your friend has excellent senses. I heard nothing. Nor did I. The bearer was silent when we made our way down from above. What was that about your mother? You didn't mention her earlier. No, I did not. We will speak of her later if we must. Who is that little creature? You're familiar? Kaji, meet Eltimar. Eltimar, meet Kaji. Kaji's a friend, loyal, clever, and eminently charming. On his own, or in his own way. You seem to care for him a great deal. I shaped his body from twigs and clay. I gave him life, taught him to speak. His dictations, diction's a little off, but it's, entered, it's endearing. Diction, not dictation. If you create your friends from nothing, you know you can trust them. That's true, actually. We should get going. This barrel may be earth and stone, but it's alive and aware as much as Kaji or us. Okay. Uh, we are weakened, by the way, which sucks. It means we have lower stats. We'll do less damage sort of thing. It would appear that this earthquake's going on. So much for going unnoticed. The earth spirits wake. Ready yourself. I had a feeling we'd be in for a fight. I brought along spare weaponry for you to use. These spirits may prove too resilient for mere swords and arrows. I have my enchanter satchel and a magical essence. You can use the satchel and the essence to enchant a weapon that can tear through all but the strongest of spirits. Unfortunately... She hasn't given us a comma, I know that for sure. So we're going to be using our base attack, which actually really sucks. For here, anyways. Of course, when she has dismissal to deal 142 damage, it doesn't matter too much. Um, she can pretty much kill them on her own. We're gonna grab the scrolls and the dagger. The dagger, I believe, is a dagger plus three. But we'll check it out anyways. Let's take a look. So it is a... Right. We should probably give it to our wizard, who can identify it. Short sword plus three, dagger plus three. So that's pretty well what it is. Unfortunately, it is not better than our fists. Our fists are actually pretty decent weapons, but they're not going to be anywhere near as good as our... 
commas will be once we pick them up. I'll show you my feats and stuff. So we are good at blind fighting, combat expertise, deflecting arrows, dodging, greater weapon focus commas, greater two-handed weapon fighting, improved knockdown, improved two weapon fighting, improved unarmed strike, mobility, stunning fist, two weapon fighting, weapon finesse, weapon focus comma, and weapon specialization comma. So we are really, really, really good with commas. Unfortunately, we have exactly zero of them. And she for sure did not give us any. What is the quick save button? Oh god, I can't remember the quick save button. One second, guys. My apologies. Game... Nope. Miscellaneous? No, must be here somewhere. I guess F12? F10? You know what? We will save normally, and then we'll just play it by ear. F12. It is definitely F12. Good. Alright, we learned quick save. Great success. Huh. We caught your scent on the empty air and it shook us from our sleep. But you were alone when you went below. I am Ultimar. I didn't mean to trespass. I woke in a chamber beneath us. Something was trapped in the cavern of ruins. Poisoned the heart of our dream, swallowing memories and names. Anything that emerges from there cannot be allowed to walk free. Those were the words of our god before he sank into slumber. I have no quarrel with the spirits of this place. Allow me to pass, and I swear I'll take nothing of value from your barrow. Promise what you like. Nothing walks alive from the cavern of ruins, not while I guard the way. Go back the way you came. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. What is that scent? Blood. A wound that should have been mortal, but was not. No, something deeper. Vile. Familiar. Why do I remember? At once, the presence twists within you, crushing the breath from your lungs. A wild groan rises in your ears, like an animal that has hungered for centuries untold, yet been unable to feed and unable to die. Then the groan rises in a scream. You can see nothing, hear nothing. Your flesh seems to burst apart in ribbons, the hunger erupting from within. That wasn't a spell, or a divine invocation. How did you do that? It was a hunger, something that welled up inside of me. And your wounds, they've healed. Whatever you did, you destroyed that spirit. Never mind, we need to keep moving and leave this place. Alright, so we had our first look at the hunger within us. It is something that we should definitely take note of. We're gonna go down the right path first. Also, there may be some minor little leg spikes and stuff in this playthrough. That's just because the game is relatively old. And we may have run into some small graphical glitches and stuff. Good job with your missile swarms. One dead. We're also gaining a lot of experience. We might actually level up fairly fast here. I actually think we might be below level because we started a new character. Which is fine. No big deal. It would be nice if our mage would help us out, though. What is she doing over there? She's just casting like a million spells. While we fight this one barrel guardian to the death. Well, it died. There she is. Would you care to cast some sort of good spell? You know, you could saved a lot of problem with that dismissal spell before, but oh well. You win some, you lose some, I guess. An ancient wooden box. There's a small miscellaneous object and a potion. And yet another golem. That strictly died, or 
quickly died, I guess I should say. Not strictly. Well, it did strictly die as well. But it also, and more importantly, quickly died. Alright, let's go take a look down here. There's another chest. An ancient offering chest. Which has a bear here. And there we go, another one dead. Some armor. I wonder if we can use that armor. Generally it's yes. no, but if it's some sort of monk armor, it might be useful for us. I wonder if we can wear that. It, does, it looks like it's possibly yes. usable by us. What is it? Although we have something on already. Robes of the Shining Hand plus three. Why can't we wear it? What is it? Um... It says we're not allowed to. That's why we're not using it. Unless I just misclicked. It is possible it didn't drop it exactly in the right position, so let's try again. There we go. I look stupid, but on the bright side, it has more armor class. Um, we're fine for healing right now. We're at about half-life, which is good enough. Really, really want a comma, though. Even just one. One would increase our damage massively. Two would be amazing, but that's not going to happen for a while. Okay, that hurt. We did not reflex save, which is ridiculous, because we only needed to roll... I guess we needed to roll a ten, but... Now we might have to rest. Silly. Eight hours have passed. I don't know if resting is against the rules just yet, but we have to be kind of careful. Alright, let's quick save here. Because this looks nasty. It's something called an Orglash. This one must tell you that you are not welcome here. An ice spirit, their nature is that of drifting snow, wild and fickle. This one must also tell you to disturb nothing, or this one must kill you. This one is sorry. What is this place? Look at those trinkets on the ice, beads and baubles, scraps of bone. They're offerings left by the Rashemi for river spirits, and they wash down from above. This one must guard the sacred Rashemi offerings and let none disturb them. Such are the terms of this one's punishment. Punishment? For mischief, this one is bound to this place for 100 years. This one's freedom will come in 57 years, when this one is destroyed, or when this one is made to serve a master. A master, tell me more. This one shall be bound to its master, go where he goes, for the remainder of this one's servitude. This one finds such servitude preferable to this place. So all I have to say is that I'm not your master and you'll come with me? You can't trust that creature. It's like every spirit, every god, it will use you for its reasons of its own. Command this one to serve you, and it shall be so. I'd rather not fight over this room, and if this is what needs to be done, so be it. I command you to serve me. The Orglash vanishes, and you feel your pack become much colder. Now we can loot the room, and we're going to. A sacred pouch. A ring of some sort. That might be it. Yeah, we'll look over the room really quickly. Nothing around. Let's take a look at this ring. It might be useful for us. It is a ring of the Frozen yes. Falls, which is... What is it? Immunity to cold, 25%. Um, hypothermia, three times per day. And polar, polar ray, three times per day. Our rings are better for our fighting style, but you know what? Our yes. mage could not really use a ring. So, okay. Good enough. Follow me. We are going to head down to the other side now. We're going to finish up this area, and there's a door over there somewhere, I believe. The Rashemi tombs are always kind of cool. Also, what is this thing? Not that one. Alright. 
I guess nothing of note. There is more things to kill, of course. Three Barrel Guardians. We did rest, so... Okay, you know what? I'm going to take direct control of you because I don't want you to stand over there and get me killed. Where is dismissal? Or banishment? One of them is dead. I don't know if she killed it or somebody else got it, but I'm going to switch back. She can cast spells on her own now. She's quite capable. And another one died. And now that one's dead as well. She's really, really good at killing elementals. That is pretty much her sole goal. A spear, not quite what we're looking for, but getting there. Uh, okay, quick save. Always quick save because you never know what's going to come kill you next. I think that way leads down to the other area. Yes. Yes, it does. Let's just finish up this one first, then. There's a locked boulder and some possible loot. An offering bowl and a bear skeleton. This tunnel was clear when I passed. Now it sealed itself shut. Strange. They have turned the earth itself against us. Is there another way out? We haven't explored all the side tunnels. I suspect there is another way out. Whatever force blocked this path could impede all other routes. We could try smashing through the barrier. That barrier is alive. The soil itself is full of spirits. It will reform just as fast as we can damage it, if we can damage it. How long can the spirits maintain the wall? As long as they want, the earth of the barrow is full of spirits and they will never tire or fade. So what do you suggest? The Reshemi have rituals to appease angry spirits, burning offerings to placate them. The offerings in question are usually things that appeal to animals, such as food, or the twigs and trinkets coveted or coveted by scavengers. Something like this pouch we sound? It's a simple offering, but it might be enough. We will need to burn the pouch in some sort of circle. It's probably best to use a naturally occurring circle like a stone basin or rotted tree stump. Okay. We're not going to do that quite yet. Let's leave the bowl alone. We can destroy the skeleton that will draw out the bear's spirit. That's sort of the more evil way to do things. There's a barrel guardian up here though. Let's go fight it. There's two of them. And we hit a trap, but luckily the trap did nothing to us. Or it hit a trap, I don't know which. Something got hit by a trap. And now it's badly wounded. Come on, we can finish it. Five. Four. A Mordekainen sword just got summoned. But she's not close enough for it to actually engage in combat, so that's super useful. Alright, another one down. Come on, die. I also want to get a level. That'll do it. And we're getting all sorts of essences, which are nice as well. Okay, so this leads to another area as well. I can't remember which one we want to go down. Both, probably. Let's see if we can open that one door first. Ah, you know what? Let's go here while we're here. We'll go into the runes. Map note added. These ruins are no doubt in Miscarian origin. This hill was a city in eons past. There are helm tours. We're gonna duck around the corner. We're gonna lead them to our mage, so maybe we should actually help out with the fight a little. That would be Meteor Swarm, by the way. love Meteor Swarm. One of my favorite spells of all times. It's just so fun. It's so satisfying to watch. Oh, well, we might as well go fight. You know what? Come with me. Oh, I locked the door. Ow, that hurt. That really hurt. Stop that. Thank you for the heal. That was a good spell. Polar Ray. 
Excellent. That'll kill that one. Where's the next one? There it is. Lead it into line of sight with her. We have to be kind of careful. We're going to die if we're not careful. Anytime you want to cast some spells, they do have some magical resistance too, which is annoying. Okay, you have to have better spells. Come on. What do you have left? Do you have any Kona Colds? Yes, you do have some Kona Colds. How about Disintegrate? Nope. How about a Polar Ray? No. How about Missile Swarm? Yes. There. Whew. I am certain. That was close. We should probably rest now, because that hurt. There we go, back to full life. Let's go loot some rooms. There's at least one archive open. We're gonna grab the scrolls. At the very least, they'll be good for selling later on. Because we are poor, we have no money. We have zero gold. There's also a bookcase here. With some more scrolls, not very exciting. I think that's the end of this area as well. So some helm tours and nothing else. We'll go into the other door too in this video. I think there should be more helm tours there. And then we'll actually proceed with the main storyline that we barely started so far. So the other door is down here on this opposite end. It's another Amaskari type tomb. I... No, I'm going the right way. Right. This way. I'm pretty sure. Wrong way. Nope. I was going the right way before. Sort of. There we go. That hurt. Actually, it didn't, it didn't hit anything. That is the one good thing about being a monk, is they're very, very high um, saving throws. More Emiskari ruins. This area must have been uncovered by accident, like the other one we saw earlier. Yes. Yes, it may have. There are animated weapons in here. Excellent, this is going to take seven years to do. Although we look kind of cool when we're fighting. We're all like, rapid, quick punches. And we're getting killed. Okay. For real. We are getting killed up here. I don't need all of your defensive spells. I just need you to hit, hit things. Your only job is to kill things. Thank you. We might get a level. Maybe not quite. Close though. That disintegrate though. Okay, we're gonna quickly look at the remains here. Volatile earth and stuff. Volatile air. Oh, I closed the door. And volatile fire. There are several things to loot in here. We're gonna quick save, of course. Disintegrate is so good. Um, yes. the ship knock. Of course not. Yes. We might have to what break that chest open, which would be a little bit unfortunate. Bunch of arrows and bullets, they're all magical. A uh, breastplate of hidden Imaskar, which we can't use. Oh, a comma, beautiful. That is going to be a massive increase for us. Yes. So, let's take a look at it. It's a comma plus three, straight up. I am certain. Let's watch our stats. So we're at 20, 20, 15, 10. We we'll throw in the comma. We are at 25, 25, 20, 15. And we're going to do significantly more damage. I am going to break open this chest because we don't have a knock spell. Uh, maybe we do. 
If I were a knock scroll, what do I look what would I look like? Or was this object? Is this a knock thing? A Tathori totem. Oh, fancy. We'll keep that with us. Um We could use this armor, but it would be terrible for us. We also don't have a knock spell. I'm not wearing a cloak. Well then. Might as well put some saving throws on there. Alright, I guess we don't have a knock spell. Let's quick save and break it open. Hey, nothing broke anyways. Good. It all worked out just fine. I know we're almost out of time on this video. Let's just finish this area. It's not very long anyways. There's an Imaskari rod in here, which we'll grab. Blacksmith's workbench, there's a rapier, a belt, and a tower shield. We are now officially encumbered. Mostly because of the tower shield, which is a tower... It's a mage protector, actually. Plus five, minus four intelligence, plus six strength, and improved mind defense. Yes. What is it? But what I was most interested in... was the belt. Yes? A belt of frost giant strength versus our sash of, sh sash of shimmering. I think I'll skip out on the spell resistance for the extra strength for now. That brings our strength up to 12, which is pretty damn nice. And I think that's actually it for this area, but there's- oh wait, there's one more door. We'll take a quick look into this door and then we'll call it a video at this point. There are some Imaskari golems in here and an alchemy workbench. Hi golems. Look at this, an original Imaskari golem. Late Koyun dynasty probably created, or probably one of the last they created. Can you awaken it? Much of my mother's work is based on Imaskari texts. They were artificers, masters of shaping inanimate matter, and other things. So the short answer is yes, I think so. A golem is a lifeless puppet, a magical force that provides animation. This golem was moved by an earth spirit. Though it's gone dormant, it can be reawakened with the proper techniques. Do it. Fetch those spirit jars, there's a good beast. Yes, mistress. Inside these jars are spirits of elemental air. If I place them here, and here, and here, that should... ...wake it up. Let's try out our new friends against the barrow spirits. Be aware that the forces keeping that golem moving are bound to the barrow. When we reach the surface, the spirit will be freed, and the golem will fall dormant again. Hmm, the golem isn't as strong as it should be. The spirit inside must be weak. If we had rejuvenating salve, that might restore its strength. Or would we find some? With the Hellfire Powder we found earlier, there should be enough on the alchemy table to mix one vial of the cell. After that, it's only a matter of applying it to the golem. If you're not skilled in alchemy, it would be best if I mixed the cell. Any mistakes could cause quite an explosion. Yes. Well, I mean, if you insist. We created the salve. Yes. And we will put it on the golem. We're going to apply the superior rejuvenating salve. Now it is a stronger golem. A stronger golem. It's actually pretty decent. It's a uh, construct level... 15. 19, 14, 9. Bunch of damage. Actually, tons of damage. And so, that's going to be it for our video, I believe. There's nothing else for us to do in here. So... Now. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, especially in regards to this series, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. We will be continuing on through the barrow, killing our way to the surface. Take care, everyone. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful evening.